it seems to us, sisters, brothers, the teaching of our Lord does not make us happy. Though Jesus said, Blessed are you. Because in our today's society, we are tempted to consider power and money as happiness. So we thank our Lord Jesus Christ for uh, wake us up back to our lives because in some way we day dreamers because of the forces of evil we almost The truth about God, about our dignity as Christians, as according to St. Paul, those belonging to Christ, alive or dead, we belong to Him and Him alone forever. Jesus said, You do not belong to this world. If you were so, they would have. Welcome to you with red carpet, right? But because they persecute you, so you belong to me because they have already persecuted me. It's not this a very good sign, my dear sister brothers, when we are rejected by this world, we are blessed because we belong to Jesus Christ. Look at him crucified there. And we know this is also our destination, our honor, according to St. Paul. Our honor is the cross of Jesus. We are proud of being Christians, being disciples, Jesus and being persecuted by the world. And also in the first reading, according to the prophet Zephaniah, from the very God has chosen the weak, the less fortunate. The politically and uh, economically rejected to make the powerful the was shameful. Uh, uncle, in the second reading, Saint Paul also stress. God chose the lowly and despised of the world. And uh, he chose the world to shame the strong, the powerful. It seems that uh, after the uh, pandemic COVID-19 last year, we can see the prophecy of Jesus come true. We have survived great tribulations this uh, and uh, suffering and then in the book of the revelation a great number of those who have washed their robes in the blood of the lamb following the lamb and singing 
a song a praise a victory over the forces of evil so we have good reason to be proud of being disciples of Jesus of being Christians though we may be weak politically speaking but again in Jesus we have a very strong foundation of our dignity of being sons and daughters of the almighty father in heaven he who always takes good care of each one of us his children so my dear sister brothers we thank our lord jesus for strengthening our hope our faith in jesus and in jesus alone who is the master of history the master of the universe the master of the life and death of each and one of us and of the world and if we put our trust in him we know well how to build our home not on sand but on rock and we can sustain we can survive every test even the deadly test by the world by forces of evil this is also time for us to uh, re-examine our faith in the try again to take the teaching of Jesus into our heart into our mind and in particular to put it in everyday practice following the example of the blessed Mary who always carefully listens to the word of Jesus and treasures it in her heart and uh, in particular put it into practice. Amen. Candle 